What's up everybody, it's Jason Robel here again from jasonrobel.com. That's W-R-O-B as in biceps, E-L.com. I'm here again with my friend, Dr. Robert Kassar, who, as you guys know from the recipe video, is a world around expert in rejuvenation, wellness, cellular activity, just basic, basically transforming humanity from the inside and out. He's here to talk about how to optimize your workouts, how to really, really take your workouts to the next level with some simple, primal, intuitive movements. Dr. Kassar, I'm super excited to learn from you. Obviously, the results speak for themselves. You are in phenomenal shape Thank and you. have decades of experience with human physiology and working out. And I'm no young chicken. How old? 52 years old. 52? 52. I lost 40, 40 pounds, as you can okay. see. Okay. Okay. You guys know where this is heading. Look at that man's abs. And wow, this is this is part of my movement is to show you how easy it is to change your ways. And you, part of you really learning this discipline is you don't need to spend a lot of money to do it. See, a lot of the things we do, we're actually wearing ourselves out instead of building ourselves up. Okay. We're using too much stress in our workouts, in our life. We have a lot of different um, ideas to show you right now that actually is in the area of called intensity versus stress. Okay. Now, uh, one of the most important things to learn is that this is necessary for you. Once you're on this regeneration scoop, you're trying to really change your atomic structure. Yes. It's like spray painting a car. You don't spray paint over the bad paint. Mm -hmm. And you don't even just sort of rough up the old paint. If you really want to do a, a rejuvenation to the car, you take the paint down to the bare metal. Yes. And this is what we're doing here because we have had a lot of, uh, what you can call, a lot of bad profiles that have been pushed upon us. Right. Exercising heavy, stressing ourselves, not only at work, not only at home, right. but we're stressing ourselves out as we work out and we're not having enough minerals in our body, we're not having enough water. So this is very simple. Exercise is to reprogram your neural nets or your atomic structure so everything follows. Remember, your nerves are everything. Yes. So you look at your eyes, your hands, you know, everything, your senses, they are an extension of your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Your smell, your touch is an extension of your nervous system. So what we're trying to do is rebuild the nervous system. Okay. Not rebuild our muscles. Okay. Not rebuild our ligaments. We're rebuilding the nervous system because when the nervous system is actually rebuilt, then everything else gets rebuilt. Ah, so this is a big shift for most people because people are thinking in terms of, oh, I've got to get bigger muscles, I've got to get more ripped, mm -hmm. I've got to have better abs. Mm -hmm. But this is a major shift you're talking about of concentrating on the atomic structure and building the nerves. The that's, going to be a, that's going to be a quantum leap for most people hearing this. And it's very easy to do and it's not expensive because what you're really trying to do, remember, stress is what wears the body out. Yes. Intensity grows the body. Okay, so this is a distinction I want you to talk about more and show us with your movements and certain things the difference between that because I think for a lot of people hearing this that might be a little bit confusing the difference between the two. Okay, so number one, think of uh, what's the difference between a stress exercise versus a, a intensity exercise and the only number one thing is breathing. Breathing. So, so uh, I wanted to cut you off because I want you to get you off track. Sure. Because everyone starts to scratch your head and goes, whoa. No, it's breathing through your nose mm -hmm. versus breathing through your mouth. You do diaphragmatic breathing. You start from the abdominal, that's right, and then it goes into the ribs, then it goes into the clavicle. And now you're getting the full volume. Your lungs have the volume, square area of a tennis court. Okay? That's a lot of volume. Really? We use maybe one third of our lung if we're lucky because we breathe through our mouth. So we're stressed all day because we've lost our way on learning how to breathe. Mm -hmm. You go to school, what do they tell you to do? Breathe through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Or, right, right, or, right. Or a different differential. Everybody's got a different way. Okay, now the simple way is to be able to to really just understand two concepts here. Okay. The first concept, if you breathe through your mouth, then you're just stressing your system out because your, your brain, your lungs, and your heart, they all have sine waves. Mm -hmm. Everything follows the wave of the sun. It's a sine wave. And when you breathe through your mouth, you really 
don't align the sine waves. Breathing through your nose is very hard for people, but this retrains your nerves the right way. You breathe through your nose as the left and right nostril. Air goes in and it goes up a turbinate. It's like a vortex. Mm -hmm. They cross up here and they get a charge. And the charge here is what we're trying to get. We're trying to get chi, life force. Yes. We're not trying to burn calories. Mm -hmm. We're trying to increase our chi, our energy, our life force. What you're really trying to do is take your brain waves, your heart waves, and your lung waves and try to get them so they all underline each other. They all ride the same wave. Mm -hmm. And that's a little hard to do. So what you're trying to do is actually any exercise that you're going to do, no matter what it is, cardiovascular exercise, try breathing through your nose and you'll find out it's going to be very hard for you to do because you don't have to work out hard. Hmm. You're going to work out smart. And our nerves, remember, only grow the way we push them. So we're going to rebuild ourselves. And the number one way to rebuild yourself is not in gym, mm -hmm. is to first start breathing when you exercise through the nose. So you're really just trying to set up a new cycle of breathing. And once you do, remember, it's the difference between stressful exercise versus intensity. For me, I would get burnt out so quickly mm -hmm. and I would feel like my body was having such a challenge, not so much with the workout, but more so with like the rejuvenation. Like after I would work out, mm -hmm. I would feel so depleted on a core level. Mm -hmm. doing the things I thought were proper, doing the things I thought were right. right. So if we take this stance of step one, learning how to breathe properly to really build ourselves from a nerve level, mm -hmm. how then do we apply this breathing to movement? You don't have to train hard. What you're gonna do is train with intensity. Without flexing everything, just do it real slow. Without flexing, Without just, flexing. Okay. just do it slow because that's step one. You're just sort of setting the speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm doing this slow, but I'm not really flexing a lot of muscles. I'm just using my bicep. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, once we've got that down, of course, do it the other side one time too. Just a slow motion, and as fast as you go up, it's as fast as you go down. You're trying to train the nerves with balance. Mm -hmm. The muscles that go down now have to relax on the back and flex in the front, flex in the front, relax in the back. It's so about balance then. It's about balance. So you're gonna go up and down the same speed, but you go slow. Now the second way you're gonna do this, and of course you're breathing through your nose only, mm -hmm. is now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flex every muscle, same speed, but now I'm flexing not only I'm even doing my legs, mm -hmm. flexing my stomach, my legs, my calves. Core, everything. So as you're doing this, you, f you, you flex different parts of your wow. body. Now start to lift them one at a time. One goes up, okay, now flex yourself. Tighten it all up. It's hard to do. Tighten it up, see? There you go. Without, without tightening this or this. Remember, no stress. Making faces just like a... Uh, they say in a lot of the yoga classes, if you're making faces, you're not doing it correctly. And so, now flex your legs. Hmm. Flex your rear end. Okay, okay you can see oh how this goodness. is very, very... It is intense. Intense. Now, I do this for about three or four minutes, and I'm sweating. And, and I can do other exercise, which I'm wearing myself out. And this is how people say, hey, Doc, how do you, how do you stay lean and how do you keep muscle tone? Mm -hmm. It's because this is the exercise that you do because your nerves dictate the health of your whole physiology. Okay, so you guys, what we're doing is covering the basics here of how to rewire your neural net, how mm -hmm. to take your physiology to the next level because we're combining the food and the superfoods, the remineralization, the clean, high energy foods mm -hmm. with the proper way to move your body and the proper way to breathe. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Kassar, I know this is gonna be just the first step in really a series of things we're gonna do together. So for you guys out there, remember, it's just the basics, starting with the breathing through the nose, mm -hmm. starting with the slow, controlled movements. This is really ground zero for most people, ground isn't zero. it? Well, it's ground zero, even if you're, just think if you're a professional bodybuilder. Right. This is going to help you massively because you're already at a level of, of efficacy. Yes. You've trained yourself and you can't get in. It's like a race car driver that wants to get a half a horsepower yeah. out of his car because he's done everything he could to be able to make that car squeeze out every bit of horsepower. Yep. So this is going to 
make you get more horsepower because the horsepower comes from the neural net junctions. So this is very smart. Only if you really do a lot of the things that we've been telling you to do before, which is just changing your diet to a less contaminated system, mm -hmm. unclogging your system, and you know, really spending three days a week minimum trying to, to rebuild yourself. And like I said, you don't need to go to the gym. If you do, great, but you're better off doing it at home because a lot of the stuff you're gonna do is different than everybody doing it at the gym. But once you actually get proficient at it, you'll mm -hmm. go do this at the gym like I do. And everybody says, what are you doing? Because they see you're super lean and they know whatever you're doing actually must be different because, well, you're playing the part and you're looking the part of somebody who's an athlete, but not training like an athlete. Right. You're training simple because you don't need to wear yourself out. Right. Um, and that's the thing is really, you guys, the takeaway here is simplicity. Simplicity. It's the basics. It's starting from that ground zero point so you can recreate yourself from a food aspect, from an exercise aspect, a physiology aspect. I mean, this is just the beginning, doctor. So Very beginning. thank you so much for being here. Uh, you're welcome. Really, really appreciate uh, the knowledge right. and the wisdom. And you guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to check out more of Dr. Robert Kassar's videos. Check him out here. Click on there to see his awesome YouTube videos where you can download even more amazing information on nutrition, energy, physiology. This man is a well of information, consciousness, and positivity in this world. And right back to you, because we, we all, remember, we're trying to do is share the nectar that we know, and he's got a lot of nectar there. So <laughs> look at all of his videos, too, because a lot of the stuff I talk about is what he's doing and showing you how to make it so it's feasible to put in your system to make it so it's actually like an art, too. You're more of an artist with the foods. Thank you. You know, and it actually makes it fun to watch somebody that's having fun do it. That's it. So anyways, uh, glad to be here and glad for inviting me on your program. More to come. All right. Thanks guys. If you give this video a fat thumbs up, leave us a comment below and let us know if you want more tips on exercise, physiology, and we'll be sure to share them with you in the future here on the show. It's J. Rowe, Dr. Robert Kassar. Catch you guys on the flip side. All right. Peace. <laughs>